Hello, I just wanted to share with you a quick little video here about how to use Padlet as an online corkboard to be able to share information with your students and between your students. So you go to Padlet.com, that's P-A-D-L-E-T.com, and then you sign up for an account. The account's free. I imagine they probably have some other versions that you might pay for, but uh, the one I have here is free. And then you start out by making your first pad. So here's my first pad, and this is it's really just a cork board. So even though it looks like waves, it looks like maybe we're on the ocean, it really isn't. It's just a cork board, and you can put things up on this cork board. So I've added a couple articles to the cork board. Now, what really makes this fun and interactive is that you can share this with your students. So I'm going to go up here to this little button that says share, and I click on that, and, and I can decide how I want to share this. If I want to share it as a password protected pad, so only people in my class can see it. If I want to make it public or just make it completely private, nobody else can see it. And then I can decide, those with access, what they can do. They can read it, they can write on it, they can moderate it, they can administer it. So I can decide what it is they're going to do. Well, I want them to be able to add to my Padlet, so I'm going to click on that they can write. Now, I can start adding contributors. I put in their email address of my students, and it'll send them an email telling them that they have access to my Padlet. Now I can ask those students to put something on the Padlet. So in this case here, I might ask them to put up a idea that they had, a good tool they found, maybe an epiphany that they had as they're going through and they're learning about research. So now that I've done that, I send off those shares, now I can come back to my Padlet here. So let's say that I want to add something to it. I just click on that little button down there, and it tells me I can write something, okay? So that's the writing part. I'm going to get rid of that one. I click on the button there, and I can add files. I can add all sorts of different things. So if you look down here, it gives you the option to upload a file. It gives you the option to link out to another website. It gives you the option to add a picture or to add Google, a Google uh, search that you made. So you can add a whole number of different things, and it just sticks right on here, just like these two other pieces are on here now. now I'm going to click on one of these just so you can see what it does. So I click on the article. It brings up the article. So now I've got this article on here that my students can read, and they can get some feedback. So if this was a tool, maybe... Uh, that might be something that they would want to take a look at and something that they may be able to use. Okay, so, and we can just go and we can move that into a, another screen all by itself or just get rid of it and go back to our Padlet. So again, this is Padlet.com. One way you can use this is to have your students pull out their laptops, pull out their iPads, etc. during class, ask them to go to Padlet.com and add something to your online corkboard. Now you've got something that you can share with the entire class. So we can just bring this up on our LCD. We can share this with the entire class and we can say, hey, look, here are all the great resources that you found today in class relating to this particular topic. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. My name is David Woodruff. Thanks. And until next time, bye now.